In this extra video, I'm going to look at a more difficult example of exponential equations. But you can find the basics of exponential equations on page 201 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at the example. It's going to be 2, 3, x minus 1 is equal to 3x minus 2. Okay, it's exponential equation. But I want to bring this exponents down. Okay, so how do I bring it down? It's one term equals one term, so I can put log in front. Now, I'm going to use the rules of logs. Now, the first one I'm going to use is the power law. I, and the power law brings it down. So, I'm going to have 3x minus 1 in front. Log 2 equals x minus 2 log 3. Okay. Now, if this bracket was standing after the log, you cannot multiply it in. But if it's standing in front of the log, you can go and say 3x times log 2 minus 1 times log 2. So I'm ending up with 3x log 2 minus log 2 equals x log 3 minus 2 log 3. Okay, now it's separated. Now I'm going to look for my like terms. I'm looking for the terms with an x. I bring it to one side. And all the terms without an x, I'm taking to the other side. So basically, I'm getting 3x log 2 minus x log 3 is equal, if this goes over, it's positive minus 2 log 3. I'm doing a little bit of more steps just to, so that you explain and recall the rules. Okay, now I take x out because I want to make it actually also one term, a common factor. So take x out. If you take x out, you end up with 3 log 2 minus log 3 equals. Now, I'm going to use the same power law to take that two up again. And again, I'm doing a little bit long. You could have done it already in the previous step. Okay. Now, I, I'm, I must do the same here. So keep the x, take the 3 up, with the power law. And I'm going to simplify this one already. Now, 3 times 3 is 9. Now, if you, if you see that subtraction, it's the quotient law. Can you remember? It goes into division. So, it's 2 over 3 times 3 is 9. And now, I must do the same here. So, I'm going to have log. Now, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And it's over 3. It's the quotient law. Okay? And that is equal to log 2 over 9. Now, I must move up a little bit. Now, all that I do, I want x alone. So if I want x alone, I divide by log 8 over 3, divide by log 8 over 3. So I will end up with x, and now first it's log 2 over 9, divide log 8 over 3. Okay, and now I take my calculator. Because it's base 10, it's easy to do it on a normal calculator. So I just press log. And I bracket, it will always be good, 2 divide 9, close the bracket, divide, again press log, bracket, 8 divide 3, close the bracket, equals. And I'm getting that therefore x equals negative um, 1.5334752. You don't have to write all out. You can directly go say, I would rather write the, the, the there, therefore, as soon as you go 
into the three significant figures. Negative in the Namibian syllabus on exam level, we will go to three significant. 1.53. And that will be your final answer. And that's how you do a sum like that. In the AS level, we will, in another chapter, it will be chapter 9, logarithmic and exponential functions. I will do a few more examples of this, but it will still be in the months to come that I will produce the videos and load it.